pledged allegiance to determines who you'll fight for in the faction war, but doesn't stop you from playing any available hero. The faction war englobes all multiplayer and bot activities. After each match, you will be awarded war assets based on your personal performance. You can deploy war assets to help conquer an enemy territory or defend one of yours against opposing factions. On a global level, the faction war is divided into territory updates, rounds, and seasons. Territory updates occur every six hours, while rounds last two weeks and seasons last 10 weeks. For each territory update, the faction with the most war assets on a specific territory controls it. The world map will display the new faction control territories and move the different fronts. Fronts will define which map you will play on. A map that was controlled by the knights and is now controlled by the samurai will have many visible changes. At the end of each round, players who participated will get a reward depending on the rank of their faction in that round. Once the season ends, everyone will get rewards depending on the rank of their faction. At the end of each season, the faction war is reset and will resume after an off-season period. The world will forever be impacted by what happened in the previous seasons of For Honor. Lost, so it seems. 